Oh, what a dot by Anthony Richardson. Great block by Scary Terry, but I ran out of room. I accidentally pump faked that. I mean, I did it on purpose. Yeah. I accidentally pump faked, and Anthony Richardson, under pressure, still throws a dot. Right now, we are going to put Curtis Samuel also on a slant route here. And we're going to see. They're not going to blitz. We're going to run. Scramble. Curtis Samuel. He gets in the end zone. What a catch by Curtis Samuel. The second TD of the day. That was fantastic, bro. Oh, fumble. We get it. Forrest picks it up. A hit stick on Cooper Cut. Cup gets us the fumble. That's Jonathan Jones. Our free agents are making plays here in their debut. And that is a fumble recovery. We get the ball right back. Let's see if we can get this stop. Fourth and 19. We cannot allow a conversion here. We have to guard the deep threats. And that is Cooper Cup right now. And he's going deep. That's nowhere to be found. And Davis, the middle linebacker, playing the wide receiver, gets the pick. And he's still running. He's still running. He runs, runs out of daylight. What a pick. All right, what is going on, everybody? Welcome back to this Washington Commanders franchise. And I'm recording straight off of that awful My NBA Career video. You probably just watched the day before against the Lakers. Going right into probably an even worse game in Madden. So this should be fun. I might play defense at least for the first game. We're going up against the Rams in week one. Um, but I'm just not good at defense. I'm not good at it, and it does nothing but frustrate me. It's mostly going to be this. We are going to start Anthony Richardson at the QB. Sam Howell will be our backup. Um, Kareem Hunt will be the starting running back. Obviously, the wide receiver core is pretty damn good and very fast. All right, third and 10. I mean, the worst we can walk away with here is, an, um, is a field goal or an interception, like I accidentally almost said. But I'm not hoping for that because Curtis Samuel in the end zone for Anthony Richardson's fourth touchdown of the day. Curtis Samuel second, and we are torching this Rams defense. And if you're not sure, you might not be, this is indeed on all Madden difficulty. Uh, middle linebackers are solid. It's really the left outside linebacker that's probably the biggest concern because it's rookie Trenton Simpson. But I have full faith in him that he's going to be a good uh, player for this team 86 speed 91 acceleration he's got 82 strength which it'd be nice being on that left side um if he can get that up i mean if we're playing a formation where he has to go out in coverage the 86 speed will be perfectly fine this is what the rams team looks like the same except they still have jalen ramsey of course uh he was not traded in this universe matthew stafford all the way down to a 71 overall we're gonna have and they still have baker mayfield uh, we're going to have to try and pick that apart as much as possible. Uh, Cam Akers is hurt. They're going to have to start Kyren Williams. We have to. There's no reason why we lose this game. Um, we are going to probably defend the, I want to say, short pass. I want to say I'm going to defend the short pass instead. Uh, we are going to run outside. Nah, we're going to blitz counter. Gameplay goals, get five plus sacks. That ain't happening. Two plus touchdowns. I can see Anthony Richardson getting. We're going to allow 20 points or less because I'm ass on defense. 300 plus offensive yards, I think is doable. And let's win the turnover battle. All right, so let's see who's getting upgraded. Just Sam Cosme, the right tackle. We're just going to auto that. He'll probably be a 76 overall. Now we can hop into the game. Here we are. Rams, Washington here in FedEx Field. Something I'm probably going to look to upgrade as I am the new owner of the Commanders. Definitely got to upgrade this um, stadium because we all know this stadium is awful. There he is, Anthony Richardson, the new franchise quarterback. Looking to throw that man, Scary Terry McLaurin. I'm really excited to use Anthony Richardson. We get the jet flyover. That's pretty sick. Really excited to use Anthony Richardson and see how good he can become. Uh, but yeah. Let's get into it. Let's see if we can get our first win of the season and start off strong. And we're starting out with the ball first. And here he comes. Anthony Richardson, the rookie out of Florida, coming out to the field for the first time. 74 overall. 92 throw power is really, really good for him. That's some. It's his accuracy we're going to need to work on. We also got some players like Kareem Hunt and Mike Gasicki playing for the first time in front of their new 
home crowd. We're going to give it to Kareem Hunt to start off, and I see a big hole over there. We just need Terry to block his man up there. Can he do it? Probably not. Uh, they did. They got their blockers. Kareem Hunt, a huge run to start off this NFL season. A 25-yard rush for Kareem Hunt. Second down. I'm going to audible. Uh, Kaseki's wearing number 89. Uh, interesting. We're going to dump it out to Scary Terry. He's going to get it for the short gain. Good gain. Second and two. Uh, we're going to audible this to a pass play. And Johan Dotson is going to be my main target here. And he's going to run his route. Ooh, that was a near pick. First and ten here. I think we're going to go back on the ground. We're going to go back on the ground. I'm not sure about running to that right side. We're going to need our tight ends to pick up their blocks. And I'm going to cut to the left side. Kareem Hunt is still running. What a great showing so far for the new running back, Kareem Hunt. The reason why I signed him is I wanted to get him back to his rookie days. See if he can become that top tier running back. Again, we already know he's one of the best kickers in the league. And we're going to throw it quickly to Scary Terry. And he's going to get us down to the sixth. Uh, we're going to send Scary Terry on a slant. Even though they have a lot of guys in coverage. I'm not a fan of this play here. We need, we need Scary Terry to get... And no one's open. And as I try and throw it away, of course Madden doesn't let you. And we have to take the sack. And then we're going to have to take a 34-yard field goal to start off this game. What a great drive, and it doesn't end in a touchdown. That's tragic. I thought that was going to miss. And here comes the Super Bowl winning quarterback, Matthew Stafford, in this Rams offense. Let's see how well my defense is and if I'll be frustrated because... It's all going to determine on this game if I continue playing offense or not. And they're going five wide to start off this game. Interesting. And Matthew Stafford is going to get a wide open. Who is that? Allen Robinson on the flat route. That's bad. Not the flat route. I forgot what that felt. The fade route. And they immediately get like a 40-yard completion. And they're going to go to the run game? No, I fell for the play action. Yeah, see, this is why I don't play defense. This is why. We got them all the way down to a third down. They're going five wide out here. I'm going to switch to a Tampa 2 defense. Uh, I'm not liking. I don't. I want to switch to a middle linebacker, Madden. Why does it not switch me to the guy? I, we called a timeout? I didn't hit the touch pad. How do we call a timeout mid-play? That's not possible. Offense back on the field. This is how we're going to have to try and win games. We're going to have to try and win games with our offense because I'm just not going to be able to play defense. I'm so poor at it. We're going to double team Aaron Donald on here. They do not double team him, so that was just for nothing, to be brutally honest with you. We have a quick third down. Our old line just completely collapsed on that last play. Figures coming from Madden. Kareem Hunt, though, is going to get wide open, protect the ball. We already know how fumbling is in this game. He's going to get his first down. Anthony Richardson playing that conservative game, 5-for-5. Five five. 45 yards in the air. We mainly been throwing. I'm um, going on the ground with Kareem Hunt. It's just been working, and I mean, might as well keep it going. We're gonna use Anthony Richardson's wheels, and he gets that ball off. Kareem Hunt with the stiff arm, and he gets hit sick to hell. I'm gonna use Anthony Richardson's wheels. Can he get that off? He does. And Logan Thomas with a big reception. Anthony Richardson stays perfect on the day with that pass right there, and we are going to hopefully score a touchdown on this drive. That's my plan, and that, that's always the plan. Kareem Hunt, huge run down the middle. Big gap gets us down to the four-yard line. He's already got 59 yards on the day. Scary Terry is going to be my main target here. Scary Terry McLaurin. We, we need you to get open, buddy. Right in the middle, he gets it. Touchdown, Commanders. Anthony Richardson's first career touchdown. And Scary Terry is getting the crowd hyped. We got them down to third and nine. If we can get this stop here, that would be huge with how great our offense is playing. Um, nope, I'm going to defend that. He's got someone wide open. Can we stop him? And we do. We stop Eric Ebron, fourth and two, and we're most likely going to get the ball right back. That's all we needed. Oh, what a dot by Anthony Richardson. Great block by Scary Terry, but I ran out of room. I accidentally pump faked that. I mean, I did it on purpose. Yeah. I accidentally pump faked, and Anthony Richardson, under pressure, still throws a dot. Third and 14 after our, oh, my left side, number 72, I forget who that is. He just completely let the, oh, that's a dot right there to Kasicki. 
he just let the linebacker just go right through him on the defense. But, man, Anthony Richardson having himself a day right now in his first career start. Got us back in the end zone. I mean, the red zone. I hope it's in the end zone. And we're going to just get a little check down to Kareem Hunt. We were getting pressured. All right, this duo of Kareem Hunt and Anthony Richardson is going insane right now. We are going to put Curtis Samuel also on a slant route here. And we're going to see. They're not going to blitz. We're going to run. Scramble. Curtis Samuel. He gets in the end zone. What a catch by Curtis Samuel, the second TD of the day. That was fantastic, bro. I need to see a replay of that. Show me replay. I can't say a dot because it was nearly picked. It, I kind of let it too far right. But it was still a beautiful pass. And he did get both feet in. And we're taking a 17-7 lead. Oh, fumble! We get it! Forrest picks it up! A hit stick on Cooper Cut Cup gets us the fumble. Oh my goodness, bro. They left him wide open. Can I show the replay there? As you can see, right in the middle of the field, Matthew Stafford, he sails it right over the middle linebacker. Cooper Cup gets it and immediately jukes a man out of his shoes and gets hit sticked by who is that? That's Jonathan Jones. Our free agents are making plays here in their debut. And that is a fumble recovery. We get the ball right back. Uh, that was not the greatest pass. No, yes, it was. Johan Dotson in the end zone. Touchdown. All three of our starting wide receivers have now scored a touchdown. That is insane. Bobby Wagner just misses him. And he gets in the end zone. That's the third touchdown of the day for rookie Anthony Richardson. And they're throwing a Hail Mary to end the first half. I'm going to try and blitz this. I'm going to try and blitz this. I got behind him. That could be a pick. That could be a pick. Pick it off. Ooh. We're going into halftime with a big lead I didn't expect. A 7-24 to lead for Washington in their first game of the season. They're really trusting this 67 overall running back of theirs. They're giving him the ball a lot. And, I mean, he's doing something with it. We cannot let – I mean, they check it down back to him. Uh, he's been basically their offense right now. Third and five. Uh, we could really use a stop here. Um, so that'd be great. I'm going to guard the flats. And that leaves Cooper Cup wide open down the middle of the field. I mean – I'm pretty sure no matter what there, they were getting a first down. Third and five here. I guess I'll run Tampa too. I've been running nickel a lot this game. I mean, it's working, but it has not been working on their third down, mainly on their play action. And, oh, I, I fell. I went straight to the curl route or the flat route, and that left Tyler Higby wide open. And now they're at the goal line. We need to make a play here. But inevitably, they're probably going to score because they're going to have a big hole on this run here. Watch. What did I say? And it wouldn't matter because our defense pushed them right into the end zone. Just like that, we get a quick third down. I had uh, Mike Kosicki wide open and Anthony Richardson just straight overthrew him. Uh, speaking of Mike Kosicki, please catch this. Near pick. I let it way too much, but he still gets the completion so that's a bit sad. We're going to have to really rely on Anthony Richardson's arm. Gasicki wide open down the field. Gets us to the 19. All right, third and 10. I mean, the worst we can walk away with here is, an, um, is a field goal or an interception like I accidentally almost said. But I'm not hoping for that because Curtis Samuel in the end zone for Anthony Richardson's fourth touchdown of the day Curtis Samuel second and we are torching this Rams defense and if you're not sure you might not be this is indeed on all Madden difficulty now third and three start of the fourth quarter if the Rams are going to mount a comeback now would be the time I got Tyler Higby I'm locked down. no okay I stopped it I deflected it I thought he was actually going to grab that I played that play so Perfectly, and they are going to go for it here. Interesting. Actually, not interesting at all. They kind of have no choice. Fourth and three. This is a big possession here. Big play. Can we stop them? And I had to make a decision there. I had to make a decision once again. I did not have the right play call. It was either Tyler Higby or Cooper Cup. 
and I chose wrong once again. I guess in that position, I always pick the tight end. Always pick the tight end, but they get the conversion there. I don't know why I didn't say anything, but Montez Sweat just got a huge sack on Matthew Stafford. And they are now in a third and 19 situation here. I am going to guard Cooper Cup here. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, he dropped it. Fourth and 19. They're going to have to go for it, right? Are they going to do it? Are they going to do it? Are they going to do it? They are going to go for it. Tampa 2 contain, um, contain is the game plan, and that is what the defensive coordinator wants to go with. Let's see if we can get this stop. Fourth and 19. We cannot allow a conversion here. We have to guard the deep threats, and that is Cooper Cup right now, and he's going deep. That's nowhere to be found, and Davis, the middle linebacker, playing the um, wide receiver, gets the pick, and he's still running. He's still running. He runs, runs out of daylight. What a pick, and I'm proud of my defense today, bro. I played that perfectly. He overthrew the hell out of that ball, and Kareem Hunt, I thought, was going to have daylight, but he doesn't. He overthrew the hell out of that ball, and we capitalized, man. Davis with the pick, the middle linebacker all the way down the field gets the interception. That's crazy. And Kareem Hunt, I should have stiff-armed there. I'm going to run to the left side here. Wide open lane. Kareem Hunt gets in the end zone for the first time. That is five offensive touchdowns on the game, which I think was a game-day goal that I didn't think we'd be able to hit. But we did, and we are now up by 24 points and that will most likely do it oh another fumble chase young recovers it run chase chase young on the run and he's gonna take it to the house touch down commanders we have obliterated this rams offense what a play i don't even think i forced that fumble that was all the AI. I read the um, check down for Cooper Cup. And yeah, I guess me hitting him in the legs. Um, guard the football loose. Jarred, not guard. Jarred the football loose. And we get another defensive touchdown. Three turnovers by the Rams. And they are going to take a massive L to start the 2023-24 NFL season. What a game from our defense and our offense. Oh my God, Jonathan Jones just got a pick too. That's crazy. That's actually insane. I'm running this clock out, bro. We don't need to score no more. This is on all Madden. This is on all Madden. I did um, import those sliders, but those sliders aren't meant to make it this easy. I put these sliders on my personal uh, Chargers franchise, and my God, Kareem Hunt. I put those sliders on my Chargers franchise, and it's a lot more difficult than this. And that's going to do it. The Rams ended up scoring a last second touchdown because it's Madden instead of needing the ball out the uh, offense the CPU just decides you know what let's just score we are going to take out the former Super Bowl champion Rams and one hell of a game don't expect this every game all right I, I think this was a once in a lifetime to um once in a lifetime type of game Stafford started off the game really hot, really fell off. 26-36, 313 yards, two touchdowns, but did throw two interceptions. Uh, Anthony Richardson, you can't ask for a better debut for a rookie QB. 21 for 27, 296 yards, four touchdowns, no picks. That is fantastic. Uh, Running-wise, Kareem Hunt, 26 carries, 120 yards, two touchdowns, 4.6 yards of carry. Man, he had himself a day. Steven-wise... It was a balanced effort, to be honest. Uh, Mike Kitsicki, 74 yards, four receptions. Jahan Dotson, 73 yards and a touchdown. Kareemo had 68 yards in the air. Scarrett Terry only had 29 yards and only three receptions. They really kind of had him locked down a bit there. But he did have a touchdown. And Curtis Samuel, two receptions and two touchdowns. Yeah, our two best receivers not getting involved. But we, ha we have weapons, bro. We have weapons defensively. Uh, Montez Sweat got the solo sack of the game. Uh, Kendall Fuller, ja Jamin or Jamin Davis is who I got that user pick with. And Jonathan Jones also got an interception. And we actually have a media question here. Uh, many folks, including yourself, thought this team would perform better last season, but did, how did things not come together? Oh, but things did not come together. How do you avoid that this season? Coach has to be consistent. Players in the locker room need to stay focused. We start by forgetting last season. Uh, we can't miss the playoffs again. I didn't read the rest of that, so now we have to make the playoffs. I think this team's very capable of uh, making the 
playoffs. Let's simulate this week and see if we have any upgrades or any development things, breakouts. We don't have any of that. So, with that being said, that's going to be it for me. We're going to take on the NFC champion Eagles next episode. That is probably going to be our biggest test uh, because we have the Giants, Broncos, and then Cowboys. So, the Eagles are going to be a tough game. So, that's going to be it for me. GG.